Coming up next, my top five favorite sexy perfumes. These are ones that are gonna be very sensual, very good on the skin, very much smelling like uh, the intimate skin and neck area and different things of your significant other. These are great fragrances for getting intimate. Find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose here from Osme Perfumery in Wynwood section of Miami. Gonna do a video today, which again, I don't know if I've done this exact topic before, but it's my five favorite fragrances right now of what I would call sexy fragrances. And these are fragrances that to me exude sexuality, uh, sensuality, they smell in a way, some of them like skin, like the, the, the smell of the skin of your lover or your loved one or you know your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever. It's just very intimate. It, to me, uh, kind of, a, they're arousing. They're fragrances that help arouse. Um, these are for when you are, right, looking to get intimate with the one you love or whoever you choose. So let's get right into this. And this is, by the way, um, let me, yeah, this is in no particular order. I, I, I'm not ranking these five to one, but these are my five favorite right now. And actually, I'm gonna leave that for last because that one is probably my favorite. Um, so the first one is a relatively new one on my radar, and I've talked about this in videos over the last you know, month or so. And this is from the British house Thamine, and it is, Kulanan Diamond. Take a look at it there so you guys can see it. I'll hold it up long enough. I know a lot of times people want me to write things down, but um, I prefer to do it this way and I'll hold it up longer so you can see it. Kulanan Diamond, um, just to give you a couple of the notes, because again, this one's a little bit newer to me, but I love it. It's got black pepper, vanilla, and broxen. It's got rose. It is, when you smell this one, Again, it kind of has this very sensual, sexual feeling about it to me. Um, and it smells, all these, look, you're gonna see a common thread here of why I picked these. They all remind me of the smell of skin. Picture the smell of kind of the nape of your neck, uh, or not your neck, but you know, of course, the person that you are attracted to. And that immediately pulls you in. I mean, you can go watch TV, watch videos, watch, People, when they're kissing, uh, you know, that is obviously a very common area that people like to go to. These all work very well when you smell them on the area of your neck. So, Colin and Diamond, I have right there. That's number five. I'll put here number four again, just saying number four, but this is not ranked in any particular order. And that is La Pointe G. La Pointe G from, of course, well, I say of course, this is the house of Veronique Gabay, the legendary perfume expert and business person and just one of the giants in the last 20, 30 years in the perfume industry. She has her own niche house that came out a couple years ago. These gold bottles, which represent the light, the gold light and the light of Paris, France, where she's originally from or where she spent a lot of her career. Um, La Point G, this is just a beautiful iris skin smell fragrance. This one, oh, if you love iris, this is gonna be one of those fragrances that you just have to try. Iris to me, originally is not one of my favorite notes and I've really come to appreciate it a lot more. And in this fragrance, I absolutely love it. Again, it's very uh, intimate. This is a fragrance that it's not gonna shout out. It's not going to project out. This is one that you wanna wear. You put it on before a date, or maybe you put it on after the date when you're home and you're about to kind of get, you know, maybe get lucky. This is a fragrance that will help you get there, whether it's on a man or a woman, very unisex, very sexy. Again, one of the most exquisite iris notes that I have smelled. Really love this one. 
Next, this is uh, a relatively new one from a Tot Libre de Orange, and it is called The Ghost in the Shell. So I'll hold it up there, so long enough so you can see it. Kind of a very cool pink, translucent bottle. I like uh, the coloring of this. And this again is called Ghost in the Shell. This is to me, borders on a little bit of a soapy, sensual fragrance. So this has that very clean, fresh, vibrant, almost soapy element. I love soapy fragrances, again, because that reminds me of the smell of someone who's freshly showered, the skin, that beautiful smell when you're clean and you know just fresh. That's what this fragrance is. It's very good. Uh, it's very, I think this, when I smell this on a woman, it absolutely drives me nuts. Uh, really is an attractive fragrance. Great, this one is gonna give you really good projection and longevity on your skin. So for the value and for the bang for the buck, I think one of the best ones out there, especially considering this is a relatively new fragrance, the Ghost in the Shell, super sexy. It, again, just drives me, drives me crazy. Next, this is uh, one that came out of probably about a year ago from Andrea Mack, and it is X Entrance. So you have the letter X, as you can see, and then the word entrance. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit more of a, sp got a little bit more spice than the other fragrances that I've talked about here. But again, it's very dry, aromatic. It's got some cedar in there. I think it's got some, uh, some pepper, probably some black pepper. Uh, but it's really, again, one that you're gonna put on. Excellent date fragrance for a man or a woman. I wear this one a lot. I have this personally in my collection. I wear it a lot at home. It's a great fragrance that you can just kind of sit and mass, just let yourself macerate in it. And it really brings out uh, just I, I, the sensual sensuality of a person. So if you wear this one with confidence, I always talk about wearing a fragrance with confidence. It's like wearing your clothes, wearing a watch, wearing your shoes, whatever it is. You wear this one with like, confidence, and it's gonna be one that works extremely well in the bedroom for you. Try it out, Eccentrics. And this, you know, again, I said I wasn't ranking them today, but this one is my favorite one right now. Uh, that's, you know, in my sphere of influence. And that would be Flam from Memo Paris. There you go, Flam from Memo Paris. Came out probably six months ago, roughly. One of their relatively new fragrances. Oh, it just really hits all the notes for me. It really is. In fact, I'm going to put it on right here on my skin. This is one of those fragrances that every time I come here to Osme, pretty much I spray it on. It is a little sweet. It's a little bright. It smells like warm skin. So it's warm. It's sweet. It's bright. It's, it's uh, aromatic. And it's just really, really sexy. To me, this is the sexiest fragrance that's come out in the last year. Other than, I gotta mention one more because it, it, to me also fits right in this realm of sexiness. So I, I guess we're gonna have six today. But these two, I've talked about this one a lot recently, you've seen me talk about it, is Poe from Arquiste. And this one literally means skin in French. So I, I can't talk about my, the sexiest fragrances that I really like right now without talking about Poe. But to me, Poe and Flam uh, are the, interesting, both kind of interesting one word uh, fragrances that just really exude sexual, sexuality. Poe, if you read the description from Marquise, that's flatly, flatly, that's what it's about. I mean, it totally is built around the smell of the skin of the neck. Poe oh, really is <laughs> just a home run when it comes to this, and so is Flam from Memo Paris. But they're all, all six of these amazing, sexy fragrances. My top five, top six sexy fragrances right now. So let me know what some of your guys' favorite sexy fragrances are, uh, you know, for getting intimate and, or getting in the mood or whatever you want to call it. 
Let me know some of your thoughts and some of the ones that work for you. These work really well for me, both for me wearing them and both for me smelling them on a woman. Thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your support. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.